Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup look is a neon green makeup tutorial. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. So first off, I'm going to be taking my hangover primer. Lately, I've been obsessed with doing my face first. It's been making my face, like the foundation and everything and all the products, it's been making it really glowy. So I've been obsessed with doing this lately. For foundation, I'm going to be taking this CoverGirl foundation. Um, this was my first time trying it. And the results, I really liked the results. Um, it said it was matte, but as I applied it on, it didn't feel matte. Like, it didn't dry fast, which, it's, which is a good thing because I'm really dry. And when it comes to matte, it does not work well on my face. So, this was the good thing about it. Now I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend all that in. And for concealer, I'll be taking the Pro Conceal and this is in the shade Porcelain. And I also will be taking my beauty blender and just blending that all in. And for contour cream, I'll be taking the LA Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Toast. And now I'm just taking my Sonia Kashuk brush, and I'm just blending that all in. And now that I went in with the Sonia Kashuk brush, I like to go in with my blending brush and just pat down any streak marks or anything any creases this will just give it a more flawless look before you apply on any setting powder or anything like that and for setting powder I'll be taking the Laura Mercier setting powder to set my face For bronzer, I'll be taking the Too Faced bronzer and this is in the shade medium. For blush, I'll be taking my e.l.f. blush as always and my Real Techniques um, blush brush to apply on the blush. And now for the eyes, to start off with, I'll be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as a eyeshadow primer or base. And um, I really like using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for my eyes because when you apply the eyeshadow, the Tarte Shape Tape gives it like a more, um, it makes the eyeshadows more pigmented, as I should say. The palette I'll be using is Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to be taking that first shade as my transition color. Next shade I'll be taking is this blue shade and we're just going to put that all in the crease. I'm going to be taking the Morphe M441 and just blending all that blue out in the crease. Now to create that middle cut crease, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And the brush I'll be using for it is the Sonia Kashuk Flat Concealer Brush. And I'm just starting off from the bottom. And I try to create a cut crease line from the top, which I make that larger from the bottom. And um, I just start blending it all in downwards. And ladies, please take your time with this step. As you could see, I'm really concentrated and it really takes a lot of time and patience to create this step.
Okay, so now that we have applied the con the middle concealer, we're going to be taking this neon green color and we're just going to be applying that in the crease. Now, I already did the other eye. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I do the, uh, this eye. So, how I start off is when I apply it, I follow the outline of the concealer shape and when I apply it, I apply it diagonal, kind of like a triangle. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm just getting a fluffy brush and I'm just blending everything all together, the green and the blue. Next shade I'll be taking is this yellow shimmery shade and we're just going to apply that in the middle of those two lines. Now I'm just going to take some Mario Podesky spray and spray it on that shimmery yellow eyeshadow and we're just going to slap that in the middle. Next, I'm going to be taking this neon shimmery shade and I'm just going to apply that in the middle as well. I'm going back in with that green neon shade and just applying it where we first applied it just so it could pop out more. Now I'm just taking that small fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything together. For mascara, I'm using the Miss Manga Mascara and I'm also going to be curling my lashes with that mascara. Now for the under eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this shade right here. Now back to the face, I forgot to apply a highlighter so I'm going to go in with the Glow Kit Anastasia highlighter palette and I'm gonna be taking butterscotch to highlight my face and you guys don't mind that black dot on my nose I got it when um, I was putting on the mascara so don't mind that I'm just letting it dry so I could just wipe it off real fast For lips, I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Liner in the shade Brown. I always use this one. This one is my favorite. And after we're done with that, I like to go in with a small fluffy blush. Oh my god, I keep saying blush. <laughs> a brush and just blending out the whole eyeliner. And then I'll just be taking this Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just going to pat it down in the middle of my lips. Now I'm just going to grab my finger and I'm just patting it down and just blending it all in. And to top it off, I'm going to apply this L'Oreal Paris Lip Gloss in the shade 105. And last but not least, I'm going to apply my eyelashes and the eyelashes I'm using are the Dodo Lashes in the style D316. That's pretty much for this tutorial look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And just show some love. And to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.